Welcome to the land of La Dolce Vita. The Italy tourist attractions are literally everywhere. Breathtaking natural beauty, fascinating history, and mouth-watering cuisine. From the rolling hills of Tuscany, to the sparkling canals of Venice, Italy is a top travel destination that should be on every traveler's bucket list. This Italy travel itinerary, is a countdown of the best places to visit in Italy, taking you on a journey through some of the most beautiful, and famous places in Italy. Whether you're interested in exploring ancient ruins, admiring stunning art and architecture, or simply enjoying the laid-back Italian lifestyle, there are countless things to see in Italy. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be inspired by the best cities to visit in Italy. Bustling with fashion, art, culture, and finance, Milan is first on our list of the top 10 places to visit in Italy. Located in the Lombardy region, Milan is often considered the gateway to the Italian Alps, and one of the must-visit cities in Italy. Milan top attractions blend perfectly with its old-world charm and modern flair. Truly a hub of creativity, reflected in its museums, galleries, and iconic landmarks. A Milan must-see attraction is the Duomo di Milano. This stunning Gothic cathedral, the third largest church in the world, with its intricate facade and towering spires, will for sure leave you spellbound. But also look around in the world-famous museums, such as the Pinacoteca di Brera, and the Leonardo da Vinci Museum. Fashionistas should visit the Quadrilatero della Moda, or the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele. Also take a quick peek in the world-famous Opera House, La Scala, the picturesque canals, and quaint cafes, make the Navigli district to one of the best places to visit in Milan. Great to unwind, and experience the local Milanese culture. Be sure to try the local cuisine. My two personal favorite dishes are the Milanese risotto, and also buco. Absolutely delicious. One of the best day trips from Milan, is visiting Sancterre, another of the top 10 must-see places in Italy. This unique destination on the Ligurian coast, is a collection of five charming fishing villages, each with their own distinct character and appeal. First settled by the Ligurian people over two millennia ago, the five villages of Monoroso, Vernazza, Cornelia, Monarola, and Rio Maggiore, are perched on rugged cliffs above the sparkling blue waters of the Mediterranean Sea. Today, UNESCO World Heritage, they draw visitors from around the world, with their stunning views, colorful houses, and delicious local cuisine. No visit would be complete without hiking along the famous cliffside trail, that connects the Sancterre most beautiful villages. Challenging, but rewarding. It will offer you breathtaking views of the sea and the picturesque towns. Also explore some local wineries in the nearby village of Monarola, and sample the famous Sayaketra dessert wine. A very authentic experience. The best way to take a piece of Sancterre's beauty with you, is in a jar of the local pesto, made from the famous basil, grown in this beautiful area. For more secret travel tips, hit subscribe now, and ring the bell to be notified about our latest travel videos. And now we're off to the city of love, Verona. Located in northeastern Italy's Veneto region, and renowned for its role as the backdrop for Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Beyond its romantic associations, Verona boasts a rich history dating back to Roman times. Impressive architecture and cultural attractions can be found everywhere. A must-see in Verona is undoubtedly the Arena di Verona, a beautifully preserved Roman amphitheater. One of the largest in the world. You can tour the arena and learn about its history, or attend a live performance to experience the venue's incredible acoustics. For another unique adventure, explore the underground ruins of the city's ancient theater. This fascinating attraction is not as well known as some of the city's other landmarks, but it offered us a very unique glimpse into Verona's past. Indulge in some traditional local specialties. Try bolido misto, a mixed meat dish, or gnocchi di malga, a type of dumpling, made with local cheese. We can also strongly recommend trying the famous Valpolicella wine, produced in the surrounding countryside. Verona is often overlooked by tourists to Italy, but its rich history, charming streets, and delicious cuisine, make it one of the best places to go in Italy. Next up on our Italy travel itinerary of the top 10 best places to visit in Italy, is the romantic, and enchanting city of Venice. Picturesque, built on a group of islands, connected by endless series of canals and bridges, and famous for its stunning architecture, its beautiful art, and its rich history. One of Venice's top attractions is the iconic St. Marco Basilica. This stunning cathedral, located on the St. Marco Plaza, is a beautiful example of Byzantine architecture. Make sure to also take a quick peek inside to see its intricate mosaics and gold leaf decorations. Another must-see in Venice is the Gothic-styled Doge's Palace, that once served as the seat of power for the Venetian Republic. To soak up the romantic atmosphere of the city, a gondola ride through the canals with your loved one, is truly unique. A short boat trip will take you to the island of Burano, known for its colorful houses, 
and handmade lace. According to the locals, Verano is one of the best places to visit in Venice. Here you can try our local favorite, the traditional quichetti, a small plate, similar to Spanish tapas, perfectly paired with a glass of local wine. During the summer season, Venice can get very crowded, and very expensive. To beat the crowds, consider visiting in the off-season, or staying in a quieter neighborhood, away from the main tourist areas. Seeing all the top sites in Venice in just one day, is hardly impossible. It's a unique experience that should be on every traveler's bucket list. Welcome to the vibrant city of Bologna, the culinary capital of Italy. Located in the northern region of Emilia-Romagna, Bologna is steeped in history, culture, and gastronomy. Known as the Fat One, famous for its cuisine, and the birthplace of classic Italian dishes, such as tagliatelle al ragù and tortellini. One of Bologna's top attractions is the Piazza Maggiore, the main square of the city, where you can see the famous Fountain of Neptune, the Basilica of San Petronio, and the Palazzo del Potesta. Another must-see in Bologna are the iconic two towers, a symbol of the city's rich history. Take a stroll through Bologna's vibrant street art scene. Home to some of the best murals and graffiti in the world, showcasing the works of local and international artists, cultural and truly unique. We recommend trying some of the local specialties, such as mortadella and crescentine. If you're up for more in-depth culinary experiences, book a food tour and explore the city's hidden food gems. Charming and often overlooked by travelers, Bologna is definitely worth a visit as one of the best destinations to visit in Italy. Florence is one of the best cities to visit in Italy. Its unique charm, unparalleled anywhere else in the world, makes it one of the best Italy tourist places. The city is renowned for its iconic landmarks. The best places to visit in Florence are the Piazza del Duomo, the Ponte Vecchio, and the Uffizi Gallery. In addition to these landmarks, also explore the many other beautiful attractions, such as the Palazzo Pitti, the Boboli Gardens, and the Santa Croce. An absolute Florence must-see attraction is the iconic Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore, or the Duomo. Located in the heart of Florence, known for its intricate architecture, beautiful artwork, and rich history. When the sun started to set, we climbed to the top of the dome for breathtaking views of the city. One more spot to add to your list of top things to do in Florence, Italy. For adventure seekers, hiking the Apennine Mountains via one of the numerous trails, offers breathtaking views of the landscape. In the evening, go to the Mercato Central. Bustling with fresh fruits and vegetables, meats, and cheeses, this is where the locals come to shop. Indulge in delicious Italian delicacies, and sample some of the best local wines, while you mingle and practice your Italian. Ciao Bella, Florence can be enjoyed the year-round, but the best month to visit Italy and go to Florence, is in the spring or fall, when the weather is mild, and the crowds are a lot thinner. One of the best day trips from Florence, and still in beautiful Tuscany, is to Siena. This picturesque medieval town, known for its stunning architecture, beautiful piazzas, rich history, and the Palio horse race, can be found in the hilly Tuscan landscape. The absolute must-see in Siena is the Piazza del Campo. This large square is the heart of the town. It is surrounded by beautiful buildings, including the Palazzo Publico and the Torre del Mangia. A great place to sit, and people watch, or to explore the nearby shops and restaurants. A short walk will take you to the Gothic Siena Cathedral, a stunning building that features intricate carvings and beautiful frescoes. For some adventure we climb to the Basilica della Servanza, located on a hill overlooking the town, and offering stunning views of the surrounding countryside. Afterwards we took a stroll through the beautiful Ordo dei Pecci, the famous botanical garden. Most tourists to Siena flock to the popular restaurants and cafes. But for the best traditional food, the locals head to one of the small trattorias, on the outskirts of town. Traditional dishes like piki pasta with wild boar ragu, or a hearty ribolita soup, are always on the menu. Fingerlicking delicious. Most definitely include Siena in any 10-day Italy travel itinerary. It's one of the unique places to visit in Italy, we can most certainly recommend to any traveler. We now head to the southwestern region of Campania, and arrive at the Amalfi Coast. A 50-kilometer stretch of coastline, that boasts some of Italy's most spectacular scenery. One of the first of our top three places to visit in Italy. Dotted with pastel-colored fishing villages, ancient ruins, and picturesque beaches, we could easily create an Amalfi Coast five-day itinerary. One of the places to visit in the Amalfi Coast, is the charming little town of Positano. Built into the side of a cliff, and offering breathtaking views of the Mediterranean Sea, the many colorful houses, and picturesque narrow streets, are the ideal backdrop for a romantic stroll. Perfect to start your Amalfi Coast trip itinerary. The Path of the Gods is an adventurous walk, that shouldn't be missed. Challenging, but very rewarding. It will take you through some of the most spectacular scenery in this area. 
head to the authentic coast town of Atrani. This hidden gem, is just a short walk from Amalfi. Here, you can wander through the narrow streets, and soak up the local atmosphere, away from the crowds of tourists. Also on the Amalfi coast, we come across Naples, a must-visit destination, the birthplace of pizza, bustling in southern Italy, with a rich history, that dates back to the Greeks and the Romans, the number two spot to visit in Italy, pops up, home to some of the most iconic landmarks in Italy, including the Royal Palace of Naples, the San Carlo Theatre, and the Piazza del Plebiscito. But one of Naples must see is the National Archaeological Museum, which houses an impressive collections of ancient Roman artifacts. Ask any local, and they'll tell you immediately to visit the Spacanapoli district. A great way to experience the real Naples, with its vibrant street life, and many evening markets. The narrow street is the main artery. Lined with shops, cafes, and street vendors selling everything, from fresh seafood, to local crafts. One of the best things to do in Naples, is to indulge in the city's famous culinary scene. From the original Neapolitan pizza, to a traditional espresso, Naples has a wealth of delicious dishes to try. To really get a taste of the local culture, head to the Cortieri Spagnoli neighborhood, where you can find some of the city's best street food. With its unique blend of history, culture, and cuisine, Naples is a must-visit destination in Italy. Be sure to bring your appetite when visiting Naples, as the city's culinary offerings are not to be missed. Rome, the eternal city, our final stop on our journey through Italy's top 10 places to visit. 2,500 years of history, packed in just one city, once the most powerful city in Europe. Everywhere you look, you'll see some of the world's most iconic landmarks, including the Colosseum, the Pantheon, and Vatican City. First on your list of must-see in Rome, is the Colosseum. This impressive structure is one of the world's most famous landmarks, and a testament to the architectural and engineering skills of the ancient Romans. A visit is an immersive experience, that takes you back to ancient times, where the gladiators battled, and the mob needed bread, and circuses. Another of the top things to do in Rome, is Vatican City the smallest independent state in the world. The Sistine Chapel, with its stunning ceiling painted by Michelangelo, is the highlight of any visit to Vatican City, and by many also considered as one of the best places to visit in Rome. For a unique cultural experience, and to my opinion, one of the best things to see in Rome, is a visit to the Trastevere neighborhood. This charming area is full of narrow cobblestone streets, colorful buildings, and serves some of the best food in Rome. The perfect place to spend an evening enjoying a leisurely meal, soaking up the local atmosphere, and make a wish at the Trevi Fountains. As for insider tips, one of the best ways to experience Rome, is on foot. Many of the top sites in Rome are within walking distance of each other, and there are plenty of hidden gems to discover along the way. Don't forget to try the gelato, as it is some of the best in the world. And there you have it. Our top 10 of best places in Italy. Whether you're a history buff, a foodie, or simply looking for a beautiful place to explore, Italy has something to offer everyone. So what are you waiting for? Start planning your Italian adventure today. Do you agree with our picks? Then check out the other clips from I Discover, and be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified, because very soon we'll reveal more new travel secrets, just for you.